Hola, welcome into the channel, Cancerians. Thank you for being here. Much love to you. I really do hope that you are well on this on this journey. I meant to say in this time. Um, on this, on this what? On this what? Day maybe. Um, okay. Gonna get some messages out for you, my dears. I hope you're well. Hit the like button, por favor, and uh, share the videos with those you love. If you if you find the messages interesting, do hit share. And you can share to WhatsApp, Facebook, your blogs, because I know I have some writers out here, Cancerians. I know I have some writers out here, the poets of my channel. You must have blogs, I know. You know, we should share our work with one another. So we can, s well, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. Because I know Cancerians are dreamers, right? And I know you're writers, you like to cook. What else? Sing, you love music. So what do you do? Let me see what some of your gifts are. Yeah, we... <laughs> All right, so Cancers, welcome into Sage Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. I do hope you are well in this time. Thank you so much for liking the video, for sharing it with those you love. You can share the video by hitting the share button and share it to your WhatsApp, Facebook, or your blogs, whatever you do. I like to say your blogs because I, I imagine some of you are writers and you have set up some blog that you share yourself on. And, um, yeah, so thank you for supporting the channel by doing any of those activities listed above. Um, your support is abundantly appreciated. Much gratitude felt for each time you do decide to hit that like button, all right? So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, welcome in. Thank you for being here, newbie. You know, if you find messages that resonate with you, hit the subscribe button and become a part of the family here. All right. Welcome in the newbies, guys. Ooh, welcome in. I wish I had a clap thing because I feel like some newbies come in. All right. Um. So, all right. We're gonna get some. We're gonna just lay out these cards. I'm gonna because I don't know how I'm feeling like this, but something good is happening. So let's hope for that to continue throughout this message. Okay. What are we gonna talk about? Work or love? I'm not sure yet what will be the main energy surrounding these messages. Wow. <laughs> Could be work. Investing time in work. Eight of Pentacles. All right. Cancer. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Somebody's sad. The crows are a crowing. Could be your ex your ex-lover but he is sad baby let me you know because you decided to walk away they can't sleep they can't eat they ain't thinking straight they're getting gray hairs oh <sighs> this person is feeling old too maybe like getting old like they feel like they're feeling like they are getting old physically child you know like the years are upon them this person is dealing with a battle too in their feelings their thoughts spiritually it's like something come down on them what is that the regression this card is giving me a lot i'm getting the energy of can I say that? Cancer, someone may be feeling um experiencing urinary incontinence. That could be you, Cancer. It's not necessarily your other person, but it could be happening. I mean, someone could be bedwetting. That's the, like I got that little feeling um like just now looking at the cards. And it could be because of all that they're experiencing really it's like torment. Oh my God. It's like this person made their bed and I have to lie in it really. And you know, I know, I know, I know. It's in the past energy. And I'm, I'm telling you, Cancer, it could be your person or this could be how you are feeling. 
about something it's piercing you what is that it's the thoughts a memory i hear hush hush um what did you do so this person yeah this bed yeah this person made this bed and they have to line it it's torturous it's like every time they, they feel the feeling of this bed it's uncomfortable you know what i mean it's like this bed is laden with memories it's the bed itself that's cursed i don't know but every time they lay in this bed they can't it's the bed is torturous they probably blame this bed there is no comfort in this bed this bed is not a bed that someone would love to sleep in it it's it's not a good feeling here you know it's like dread Every time this person is supposed to lay their head on this pillow, it's like this pillow is about to suck my life out of me. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to have to be here alone. Mm -hmm. All right. And now we have this energy, the two of wands. And I feel like it's because someone chose their own faith, their own intuition, their own spirit, choose to listen to their ancestors, their spirits, their guides, and to... I don't know, follow the world, chase their dreams and to be who they want to be and to move forward, look ahead. Mm -hmm. And it's a, a new feeling, a new realization or an independent feeling of wanting to travel or chase your dreams or have an experience or taste new feelings, taste new, <laughs> taste new feelings um so yeah so maybe that's why this other person around here is left sad so someone decided to follow their intuition and move forward you know to where they feel like they're going to be valued which is right which is right but then this person behind you is trailing you i don't know what that is if it is a real person or if it is a spirit or if it is um just a feeling that you take with you uh, 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 you know, along with you on your journey. You know, I feel like you took a part of this relationship with you. Even though you may have left it behind. You stood, still took the dread. I hear the insults and the doubts along with you. On your journey to your well-being. So, it is my guess that... To lose this burden off of your back. Because literally she has a burden on her back. You're going to have to just stand up for your rights, really. Because really all I see you need to do you know, is stand up. Brace yourself for the wind ahead of you. And also, what are you doing? Maybe you're keeping warm. Maybe there is a child beneath that blanket. Who knows? You know, maybe you're, maybe there is a child here. I haven't seen this like this before. Maybe this is a family moving on through tougher times for the better days ahead, really. <clears throat> maybe someone is going to seek comfort, refuge in a church, in spirituality. Maybe someone is heading home, too. But this one person is left alone and there is something about the back the back their back and the the way they're sitting as if they can't move it's a person that feels um a bit stuck in bed or paralyzed just like the, their back may hurt all right that's for that reading uh maybe it resonates with some of you so let's see what's the five of pentacles What? Someone you love. So 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 the female is you. So you're the one moving forward. And then someone you love is with you. Or someone that loves you. Someone you're married to. This person is... <laughs> I'm getting a weird feeling. This person may be hornery. Yeah, like this person may be watching you, like hornery energy. So feeling in the groin, 
feeling developing there maybe in this person hmm. this person may want to mate with you this person may be of your past that had that ending with i don't know if they feel like they may have another chance or have some hope with you yeah seven of that soulmates i feel like this person feels like they love you and you're their soulmate but there's a lot of groin energy here they feel weak like they feel like they need replenishing of the sex the sexual replenishment do you know how some of these people be out here like oh you know sorry oh my god i can't believe i just did that but <clears throat> you know you can imagine it's just like they feel like they are what what, what was that word like they just need a top up. That's how some people see sex like. But, um, shit. Sorry. But like, oh, this video is going to need editing. So that they're trailing you. So I just, so where is, so you're moving, you're headed. Oh my God, you're heading to your better self. Cancer. How can I say that better? You're moving away from old feelings and beliefs and the attachments and i feel like this person is becoming aware that they're like huh cancer cancer and they're realizing you're getting disinterested <sighs> queen of wands energy here <laughs> gotta stop so this person really finds you attractive this is yeah yeah this the five of wands i'm sorry the five of pentacles here is this is it that's how he's looking at you following you very attractive as much as you look he just is it just attraction for him you know oh my god he may oh my god 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 i because let me just tell you this that this is a feather thing it looks like a tongue and you know it's the the jack of cups so that's water energy and you know this this flower energy it looks like it's moving the feather i mean in a certain flickery position with the water and the, the you know it's like flicky like this person wow. okay i don't know i'm just feeling like i'm acting silly <sighs> yeah it's definitely sex like they wanna, uh, they wanna lick you. They wanna go. Row. They think you are hot, are sexy. That's the word. It's all about that sex energy. Maybe that's why they can't sleep. Maybe that's the incontinent, the urinary incontinence that I was feeling about earlier. Yeah. Tell me about the nine of swords, please. <laughs> This person maybe only he has half, and they be missing you. It's like baby saying money in my pocket and I just can't get no love. Oh yeah, money in my pocket and I just can't get no love. <clears throat> love I had in mind was very very hard to find. Yeah. Hey, can't get no sugar. Can't get no sugar. Cause you left him. No, he be like, cause the king of wands is always on the point, on stand, erect, always like hornery. So tell me about what this person wants. <laughs> well, we know what he wants, but he wants to connect with you. I think he, this person wants, he or she wants to stop you from leaving. I know we don't want to dive into the past, but I feel like this feels kind of fun to get through. They don't want you to leave. <laughs> They're like, sorry, I don't know what's going on with me today. This person like, hey, you stop. Stop there. They don't want you to leave. It's almost like they want to command you to stop walking away from them. Don't you hear me talking to you? Hmm? Stop there. You may run into some police officers too, or some some squaddies. 
um, some law enforcement. Somebody may be watching you too, Cancer Rayon. Okay. They be having their eyes all over you, all over you. Who is this king of swords? Having their eyes all over Cancer. See, it's a five of pentacles. This one repeated. It's the same bugger that's walking behind you. So how come he leveled up to king of swords? Um... He's not emotionally attaching to you, connecting to you. No intimacy. That's why he is in this energy. His only feelings of intimacy is uh, sex, like hornary energy. But emotionally, he's cold as ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd be like, honey, look. You know, you love the loving, man. You love the loving. Mr. Lover, lover. This person is Mr. Lover, lover too, you know. But it's not emo It's not soulful. You like soul energy. But they don't get that. They don't get it. Mm -mm. They don't get why you just need something else in your soul to quench your soul. The conversation afterwards or something that quenches your soul. It's just ice cold for you. That's how you feel with this person. You know what I mean? The intimacy. Do you want to? Oh. oh, they want to see into you. They be like, oh, I want to see into you now. Okay, they, are, they say they're ready to see into you now. What do you feel about that cancer? <clears throat> How you feel about that? This is the Ten of Cups. They want to make your dream come true. That's what they're running after you to tell you, you know. Be like, listen, baby. I've been up thinking all night and I don't realize I made some mistakes. I've been coming at you from the wrong way. And baby, I've been doing some thinking out here. I think I want to love you. I want to love you right, girl or boy. I know how I do it right. I'm going to treat you right. I'm going to take care of your heart. I'm going to take care of your heart, girl. He may be singing to you. Rapping. Because he may be a rapper. But you be like. You be like. Um. The Nicki Minaj song coming up now. Chef's cooking for me. This is the mental asylum looking for me. Because you're a rookie to me. Yeah, yeah, basically. You'll be like, boy, you're a rookie to me. I'm in the wham, bam, 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 but you're in a van. What is the name of that song? My chick, bet. Oh, my chick, bet. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Cancer, if I upload this video, let me see what that will mean for me. Because I don't know what's going on. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So that'll be a brave heart. That's the five of cups, but it's, that's how I felt. So I'm going to upload it. Yeah. Uh, so where should I end this now? Yeah, I think so. Anything else this person want to say? Do we want to hear anything more? We know we've been asking for weeks what this person wants to say to you. But they are watching you too. They are thinking. Listen, this person... Or it could be fire sign, but I feel like it could be any any, any sign really. But they are pursuing you with a six of one zone. It's almost like they are trailing you. Like following you, literally. Wow. I feel like this person is literally following you. That energy of driving slowly behind you as you walk. So, okay. Huh? Oh my gosh. So the question was, is this person following cancer for real? And these cards came out. So if you're a card reader, you know, interpret for your own self. 
But for me, this feels like, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like it, the energy surrounding it is not fearful though. So I don't want you to be afraid. It just feels like a good time. That's how I can explain it to you. You are having a good time. Feels like I'm remembering this time from a dream too. And you know, yeah. So what would be, what, what do we want to know? Because I don't want you guys to be scared. All right, someone wants to come back around. King of Pentacles energy, a wealthy person, a past person, a water sign, possibly fire sign here. Wants something new with you, has all these feelings and so on and so forth. You know, Cancer, you're just wondering what this person is really up to. You're probably wondering who this person is that I'm talking about for some of you. And some of you are like, your face is the worst because you don't really care but you're kind of interested you just want to know what this person is coming with i don't know where else to go with this reading there may be two people or a because you see two people and you in the middle here can you see this and uh, somebody's having a hard time not having you, but there may be a new person that's preen. You know what I mean? The new person like looking in, see what's going on. Who is this beautiful, beautiful one here? Can I get a know her? This one has been popping up too. But it's like, it seems like you have a boo somewhere on the side of a here. But this boo is sad and missing you. So he's like, hitching himself onto you see what i'm saying he's just following you like keep attaching himself to you like you're with him but i, I don't think you are oh my god you're so beautiful cancer thank you for being here um so no this you're, you're i feel like you're looking for something new as well but like a prize but maybe not a person Can't you like look you're so beautiful like whether you're male or female this card is telling me you're so like look in the mirror look at your features and your smile you're so beautiful like your beauty is inside out truly your heart your heart is is shown on yourself look at that mm -hmm. oh my No, sorry, I asked. Um, so who is the Jack of Swords? What the f Who is this person? Like, they're watching you. Who is this person watching you? Is this person watch online, possibly? On their phone? All right, so there are two there are two scenarios here. So we have the Queen of Cups and the Queen of and the Three of Cups. And you see how you're you look happy and giving here. Or whatever. And then she's like, uh-uh, you ain't getting none of this. But this is to the past person. So I feel like you're exhibiting two different emotions right now. I feel like you could be open to something new, but at the same time, you're closed off to certain connections because you don't want to maybe attract the same person around to you. Just follow your heart on this journey. What? Oh, the person that keeps following you, the King of Cups, is going to somehow cover him. <laughs> That's how it just flipped out on top of this person. Because I asked what's going to happen to the person that keeps on following you in your energy, whatever that is. Whether that's a real person or the king of cups flipped out on top of it. 
So it's almost like karate kick this one, like without you knowing that it's happening. <laughs> it's like the energy of a kung fu move with someone getting beat up behind you so quietly you didn't even know it was happening. So that's gonna be taken care of. The King of Cups is a spiritual person, a healer, a seer, mm, a father figure. He also has the sword too. I feel like he can heal. He's he's everything. He's sword. He's Wands, yeah, he has the sword. Like I just said that. Oh my goodness. Yes, he has the sword. He has the sword. So I'm telling you, he's about to karate chop someone in the dark. You're before you. You're not even gonna know what's happening. So let me just tell you that little bit of detail there. Yo, this person is beautiful. Oh, it's the King of Cups. So it could be your soulmate. I don't know, but they two are so beautiful. This King of Cups. Look at his nose. This feature. He has such a beautiful nose and his heart too his is his heart he's like a lion his heart is seen upon him mm -hmm. as you let's look at both of them together king and queen of cups how do they look together king and queen all right, so tell so, so the king that's how he's gonna deal with that with the person with the sword. <laughs> so he's air sign, he's heart sign, he's fire sign. His earthly vibration is barely really. He's very spiritual, he's barely earth. You may find his earthly vibration only in what surrounds him in his environment, but even his body is a spiritual thing. His body is like light pure love oh my god i hope he's a ninja for real that would be so cool because i like martial arts he can teach me a few things so he may set you free because this is the eight of swords you know in tarot that's a card of being captive set you free help you set you free not that you need help because it's the king of cups it's still cancerian's vibration so we could be talking about you doing this on your own but it's nice as a story to feel like uh it's like someone the power because the ace of swords is also a power of love it's not just about karate chopping someone really it's the power of love a powerful force you see that of love that's gonna come around and kind of annihilate this person kind of take the past vibration away from you so so stealthily you know you won't even notice what's happening all right, so that's what we have for that. I like the way it ends. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful messages for you, my darlings. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for coming through. Hit the like button if you found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey. Also, do share the messages if they inspire you. Hit share, share to Facebook, your WhatsApp, your fellow Cancerians, and let the messages spread and grow. And thank you for supporting this channel. I will see you in the next one. Remember that you can be, do, have everything and anything in this world you desire. Because you're all and all is within you. Much love. Bye.